I'm Eric Armstrong and I'm the Radiation Safety Program Manager. I also serve as the University's Radiation Safety Officer and Laser Safety Officer. The largest program area within radiation safety is radioactive materials. This includes 50 principal investigators, 285 research staff, and 233 locations on the Iowa State University campus. Contamination monitoring is required to maintain our license conditions, but makes good sense as a way to manage our radiation exposure. Radiation workers are exposed to radiation, and this can add to their lifetime cancer risk. By reducing radiation exposure through monitoring, we can improve the health of workers who rely on radioactive materials to complete their work. The radiation hazard of radioactive material has the potential to impact areas beyond the lab. Material can migrate from containment, and once uncontained, this material has the potential to move outside the lab to public areas, to cars and buses, to even homes where it can expose the public. It should be the goal of all staff using radioactive material to ensure that radiation exposure is kept as low as possible for themselves and the general public. One of the most important services the Radiation Safety Group provides is radiation contamination and exposure monitoring. Monitoring is completed to evaluate and minimize risk from the use of radioactive material. Upon arrival to the lab, Contamination monitoring is completed in two phases. The first phase involves a meter survey to assess areas greater than background levels and to assess any radiation exposure hazards. Meter selection is determined by the types of materials that are contained in the lab and may require more than one type of meter to go ahead and complete the survey. The second monitoring phase includes collecting a series of smears to monitor for removable contamination and to check for materials that cannot be detected with portable instruments. Smear samples are collected from work areas, equipment, entrances, and areas with potential loose material such as door handles, faucets, and refrigerators. Once the lab survey is completed, the smears are returned to eh &S for further analysis using proportional and liquid scintillation counters. Through smear sampling, the radioactivity of an area can be derived and analyzed for decontamination. Contamination monitoring improves the lab's ability to keep exposures as low as possible. While the workers reap the greatest benefits from good monitoring practices, we are also protecting the public from an invisible hazard. Thank you.